Hey guys, what's going on? So someone asked me how they can increase their blitz score and kind of give a rundown of blitz because um, they were considering taking blitzing a little bit more seriously. So I'm going to kind of do that the best I can. This will be like a blitzing, maybe a little bit more advanced blitzing than blitzing 101, but hopefully I can do a good job of just like pointing you in the right direction of, of which way you want to go. So blitzing is important um, in three scenarios. Uh, for character releases such as Calling Wing or Misty Knight through the actual Blitz, you want to be able to get as high as you can. Um, the past couple character releases of Blitzes, so Calling Wing, Misty Knight, um, I'm trying to think who else, um, Long Shot, um, basically characters that are released purely through Blitzing. Um, I typically get in the top 1% and that nets me 100 shards, so whenever a new character is released through the blitzing method, I hit about 242 shards uh, for those for those characters, which is the most you can get. Um, and it kind of sucks that you're limited to actually like blitzing and you don't get any orb fragments or anything like that when it comes to blitzing. Um, but that's typically where I'm at, so I feel confident enough in what I'm doing to share it with you guys. Um, so let's go over it. So obviously your blitz final score is based off how many teams you have in those teams power um, For example, if we look at our black order here We have a 685 K black order and we're in, in tier 7 multiplier 3.9 You try you want to try to stay in tier 8 and I'll, tr I'll give you advice on how to stay in tier 8 uh, But as you can see the teams that we're gonna be facing it's gonna be about 80 80,000 points that we get and if we go over to our uncanny X-Men team which they're at 383,000 it's about 19,000 left less uh, 20 Twenty thousand less um, so it, it does depend on like your your score i think most people probably know that um, but you know i just want to reiterate that's it's you know the more teams you have the more score you're going to get the higher those teams are the higher that score is going to be um and so obviously your team power is team power increases when you increase a certain character that's the total collection power and all that stuff uh right now my collection power is at uh 11.8 million um and so let's get right into how you can consistently do you know get your scores so the max amount of rotations that you can do in a day is eight that's why um these numbers might be might look different than what you have uh when they are filled out gold you can only do a max rotation or you can only do a f rotation eight times and what i mean by rotation is going through your all of your saved blitz squads all the way down to your bottom um and right now there's currently 34 teams that are available i only have access to to make 33 teams so that's why i have 33 when when the rest of infinity watch comes out or if i get dr doom then i will be able to make 34 but right now i'm at i'm at 33 um and basically i just go through my whole 33 teams and i try to win as much as possible and kind of my goal with with the teams that i build is i want these teams to be able to beat defenders um, and if they can beat defenders, then they're going to be a mishmash team of, you know, unsynergized characters. Uh, like if you get like a random, you know, Nebula, well, not Nebula is a bad example, but let's say you get like Thanos, Juggernaut, Rocket Raccoon, uh, Mantis, and then like Black Panther or something. Then you can beat that team if you can beat defenders. Um, and so typically the, like defenders is a good point to be at. There are some teams that defenders counters, for example, aim, but aim can beat do higher punch-ups on other other teams so um, but typically defenders is kind of where you want to go and that's what I try to build build my roster around is and, and my blitz roster around is beating those teams um, so for example let's go down to a team that can't win uh, so like for example aim a, a team that aim can actually beat a symbiote within a decent power range um, but let's go down so the only team that really consistently loses is this hand team but once I get doom doom's going in for one of these hand characters and hopefully they will win more often as you can see I have X factor with a garbage Cree royal guard and they win um, this team can beat defenders because shocker rhino and vulture um, their kits are counter like were made to counter defenders and then go empowered Gamora uh, rips ass um, or tears ass I guess uh, silver surfer can carry uh, this team weirdly wins I don't know if there's something weird with the synergy but you know it works and then uh, Kestrel carries this team as well so yeah defenders is kind of a good a good point to aim at that you can beat and if you're going through your your blitz and you're like god these teams keep losing to 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 defenders you may need to rotate it around um, it's really weird sometimes though because for example guardians it's like a coin flip with defenders whenever they face them guardians beat them sometimes guardians lose to them sometimes it kind of depends too on like what their punishers power rank is at but sometimes like i don't look at that um but for the most part i probably in about 33 rotations i probably get about um i would say 29 wins um, so I do need to rework these a little bit, but I'm, I'm waiting for Infinity Watch to be released before I rework it. Um, 
But yeah, the goal is to basically be able to beat defenders, and if you can beat defenders, you can probably beat an another mishmash team that's that's available. Um, Blitzim is the best option to do. You can go through Blitzing a lot sooner. I believe Blitzim is, is available at level 65. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, when a new Blitz comes out, for example, when Anti Venom came, Anti Venom's Blitz came out, I typically I typically start at the bottom and then go all the way up. Um, towards the top are my teams that are going to win mo most often versus my teams that kind of at the bottom they're they're gonna, gonna lose but um, for example this team wins so I kind of space out the teams that I think could win versus the teams that I know could win so I know this team's gonna win this team might win I know this team will win this team will probably lose but sometimes they get a win and then this team will win so that way I can try and stay in that uh, tier 8 multiplier, but sometimes that changes. So uh, when a blitz starts, I will start at the bottom and then go all the way to the top and then the rest of my sims I will start from the top and go down. So then I will so you know my third rotation will be top Going down my fourth rotation will be top going down um, and that way I can get the most points um, I will say with blitz charges so you get blitz charges from doing the villain campaigns and you also get your there's that uh, three th there's that event that happens three days a week um, and you can get blitz charges and when that happens you want to use your highest team so my two highest teams right now are black order and then symbiotes um, so that's who I try to use whenever I need to do a rotation so you can see my symbiotes is 622 and then my black order is 685 and then if I have extra I'll go to you know astonishing x-men then inhumans and then uh, marauders so basically I just try to get as much points as possible um, I will say if you, you know, you're probably not going to be able to hit the 1% if you're a newer player, newer player or anything like that. Um, but blitzing is is also important for um, for older characters releases. So if there's a scientist supreme blitz um, and there's not a, like a, a, an event going on the way that Moon Dragon's going to have an event, then that's a good opportunity for you to get a lot of scientist supreme shards if you go hard on those blitzes. So honestly, my days off when it comes to blitzing are typically like if Korath is, is released or anything, but whenever there's a new character or there's an event going on, that's when I go really hard on blitz. Um, so you may want to actually do kind of the opposite of that and go really hard on characters that are better in game. Um, that will not have as high scores. Um, there's plenty of other content creators that do uh, blitz scoring predictions and stuff, and those are accurate for the most part. Um, even then, I try to get higher than what they suggest just to be safe, but you can use that as a resource. Um, also, for example, Moon Dragon is coming out June 20, June 17th, sorry, and her event, uh, she, her, during her event, you will get orb fragments for an orb that will have her in there um, through blitzing. And so even in those events, even when I don't need the Blitz character, I go as hard as I can to get those orb fragments. And that helps me get more character shards for her than I would if she was in an, in an, in an actual Blitz release. Um, and that's kind of why I like those events, because those events are kind of tied to you and your Blitz your Blitz teams and how well they do. And also, you know, opening those orbs and stuff. And so I actually kind of like those events. And if I was going to recommend one to really go for, it's those events, because those those uh, orbs typically have really good characters in them that will help you out long term not just like moon dragon for example so that's another good time to go hard on blitzing um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video let me know what you do with your blitzing i will say i know other content creators order their teams in basic team power which is fine um like i said i know that my symbiotes is the second highest power so i just go down to them but this is basically who who will win most likely like i cannot pay attention to the beginning and they'll win probably unless they come across a black order or something um, but that's basically how i do it like i said i, I know other people go you know order it from their team power down but um let me know what you do with blitzing let me know if you thought this video was helpful again you're probably not going to be in the one percent but maybe you can hit two to three percent which will be 55 shards um which means you're gonna un you're gonna probably get that character to three stars right now i'm getting them at four stars but again if you're newer don't worry about hitting one percent try and hit that two to three percent range if you can do it uh blitzing sucks it's not a lot of fun but you can use it and it can benefit you and your roster and uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think of this video. I want to know what changes you would make to Blitz. Um, I kind of wish that like during uh, a Blitzing time that they would have, you know, orb fragments drop, maybe only 50 at a time, but that way you could get like maybe an extra six shards of anti-venom or something while it's going on, but that's way too free to play friendly. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching on this channel. I do guides, I do orb openings and I do streams and I do all sorts of Marvel Strike Force stuff. So make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, join the discord, follow me on Twitch, and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys.